Okay, what just happened? Well, you saw our hero walking down the path, you know, and enjoying a nice casual stroll. It's nice and it's, it's nice and warm in the springtime. And he walked right up on Crotalus adamantius, or the Eastern Diamondback Rattlesnake. He got a little too close and Mr. Rattlesnake bit him. That's bad times, bro. So what do you do now? Well, hopefully he has a cell phone so that he can go out to a clearing and he can call 911 and get airlifted out. Uh, or you cancel Christmas with that guy. So how do you avoid that? Well, there's a lot of ways to avoid that. And we're gonna talk about how to not walk down the trail and fumble right into Mr. Rattlesnake or Mrs. Rattlesnake or gender neutral rattlesnake fumble right into his territory and step on him and get bitten. Now down in the southeast and in Florida, there's a few different snakes that we have to watch out for. And there's a few different snakes that we can watch out for that aren't going to do anything to us. So let's get into it and we're going to talk about those uh, and let's get going. Okay, probably the best advice that I can give you is to walk with a stick. This one may be a little long. It's about eight feet long. But what this lets us do is it lets us extend the stick out in front of us and tap the trail as we go. Because rattlesnakes don't really hunt on sight. They hunt on vibrations. And I guarantee you, if you spend any time in the woods like me, you've walked down a trail and you've walked right by a rattlesnake within striking distance because a rattlesnake doesn't want to bite you. They just want to be left alone. So our purpose is to leave them alone. Now, this stick is meant to scare them off. It's not meant to piss them off if you see one. That's going to be bad times too. So, carry a stick. Okay. Another particularly nasty species that you're going to encounter if you're in Florida or the Southeast is this guy. That is our wonderful old water moccasin or cottonmouth. And these guys uh, like to fight. Uh, you generally find them around water so you know y'all in the midwest or the northeast or the west you have these nice open streams where you can go up and get some water or you can go fishing we ain't got open stream we got swamp and it's in a big old thick hammock you know like this and cottonmouths or water moccasins generally hang out around water not all the time but generally hang out around water and these guys have a generally nasty outlook on life. They will uh, strike you and they will come after you. You know, whereas a rattlesnake, he wants to be left alone. Cottonmouth, they're, they're the mean species. You, can, you should also, when you're in a swamp or in a canopy of trees, you should look above you if you're going through an area. Like I'm going to go through an area right here with overhanging trees that you can see right above me. Because old water moccasin will get up in the tree. And I know somebody's going to comment down below that has been in a boat and gone under a tree and the snake has dropped down in the middle of the boat. That's bad times too. So, <laughs> you want to see some nervous fishermen? <laughs> you let a cottonmouth or water moccasin drop down in the middle of the boat <laughs> and then see what happens. I'm sure there's some videos on YouTube about it. But... You got to be extremely careful for water moccasins, especially around water. Uh, make sure your area is cleared. Make sure if you have a friend, make sure he's spotting for you. Look in the trees for water moccasins. These guys are probably worse uh, in the south than rattlesnakes. So just be careful about water moccasins. Okay, our next guy on the, uh, and probably, uh, the, the most poisonous one of them, uh, of all of them, is this guy.
That is the brightly colored and beautiful coral snake. These guys uh, secrete a particularly bad version of a neurotoxin, uh, which means it paralyzes your brain and your muscles. Uh, and if you get bit by one of these, you can almost cancel Christmas. And that really is bad times. So you don't want to get bitten by a coral snake. Uh, I, you know, you generally don't see coral snakes out in the woods. Sometimes you do, uh, but coral snakes are more of an, an urban or a suburban thing around water meters and around hedges and around stuff like that. So you don't really have to be concerned about too many uh, coral snakes uh, out, out in the woods or out in the swamps, but you still got to be mindful of them. It's a nice, beautiful looking snake and he doesn't look like he's poisonous until you reach down to grab him. Pow! Now it really is bad times. So if you see that brightly colored coral snake, just go the other way. Just go the other way. Okay. Those are the three main uh, venomous varieties. You're going to encounter uh, a few of these guys. Now, that was the indigo snake, which is really, really beautiful snake. If you catch him out in the sun, he's not venomous, he's not mean, uh, you know, he won't come after you. They like to lay in the sun, and if you can find one in the morning, laying in the sun, and you can see his belly, it's bright purple, it's really a beautiful snake. But all they do is catch little mices and mouses and, uh, you know, rats and little, go little goofy stuff like that. Don't kill those guys. Those are our friends. Black snakes, then you have garter snakes, you have coach whip snakes, and <laughs> I, I actually ran up on a coach whip snake about a year and a half ago uh, during a hike, and I'm going to put a card to that video right up here. Uh, and he was about eight and a half feet long, and I almost stepped on him. But he didn't bite me. He kind of just nosed at me to tell me, hey, get out of my yard, you know? So... And there's a whole host of non-venomous snakes, but I am going to tell you that you, you, you guys down in South Florida have a bigger problem with this next snake than, uh, than I do. But it is becoming a real, a real problem in the Florida ecosystem, and it is this guy. That's right, a boa constrictor or a python. They are literally taking over in the Everglades and they're an invasive species, they're a non-native species, they're not supposed to be here, and they're really having a damaging effect on the ecosystem in South Florida. Now, I have not seen one up here yet. Uh, and I say yet because eventually I will come across a python or a boa somewhere. And when you see me doing my videos, I usually carry a sidearm on me. And there's a reason for that. Uh, uh, the reason is mainly for two-legged critters, but you know, there's a lot of, there's a lot of mean wild hogs, uh, and there's a lot of other stuff. You know, we now have uh, a pretty good population of Florida panthers, which are basically cougars, mountain lions, same thing as they have out west. You know, we got bab uh, uh, bobcats, uh, we got raccoons, possums, gators, snakes, everything else, but uh, it's, uh, it, and it's, I kind of want to see a boa or a python, but I kind of don't want to. I kind of want to see them because I want to shoot them on sight. And some of you may say, oh, well, he didn't do anything to you. Why you got to shoot the snake on sight? No, it's non-native species, it's invasive species, and it's screwing up our ecosystem. So if you do see a boa constrictor or a python, kill it on sight. I don't care if you got to shoot it or get a stick or walk up behind him, grab him around the neck. And snap him right in the neck. Dude, that was seriously violent. What the hell is wrong with me? <laughs> no, the, the thing is, you know, you, you got to watch out for snakes. Use a snake stick. Tap it on the trail in front of you. Let them know you're coming. Be observant of your surroundings. Look, not only look up, 
look down, look behind you. You know, you may be followed by a big old deer wondering what you are. <laughs> and that's happened to me before too. You know, be observant of your surroundings. Uh, I hope you never get bit by a snake. I almost got bitten by a big rattlesnake a long time ago, and it was really, really scary. Uh, you know, use, use extreme caution, definitely in Florida and in the southeast around water, because that's where big old water moccasin hangs out. And they generally have a nasty disposition uh, on life. Uh, make sure you don't go out in the times when rattlesnakes are out. Or, you know, water moccasin out all the time. Rattlesnakes, and you know, they are reptiles. And they are cold-blooded, so they have to go out and lay in the sun to warm up. But they can't warm up too much. It gets too hot for them. Even in the wintertime, they have to go in. Most of the time, rattlesnakes hunt at night because that's is where the little rats and mices and mooses and meeses and everything else are. Mices? That's when all the little critters that he likes to eat are out, are out and about so that he can get his nice, his nice fill. So if you're out in the pine flats, with a bunch of palmettas and everything else, that's where rattlesnakes like to hang out. Be careful of the warm evenings, you know, in Florida we got, sometimes it doesn't get below 80, 82 degrees at night. That's prime rattlesnake hunting area and hunting time is at night in the summertime. And they like to hang out in the pine flats and the palmettas. So if you're camping and you're in a nice cozy tent and you got to get up and take a piss in the middle of the night and you stumble right outside your tent, poof, you might stumble right into into a pile of rattlesnake and that's going to be bad times so putting it all together watch where you're going watch what you're doing go slowly through thick brush if you're going over a log that's where you need the stick tap the log with the stick make sure there's no snakes around it if you have to go around the log Go around the log. If you don't, if you're scared to go over the log, you should you should trust your your feelings of being scared. Go around, back up, go a different way. Don't put yourself in the way of a rattlesnake or a water moccasin or a coral snake or any of the other non-venomous species. We don't want to bother them, and believe me, they don't want to bother us. We want to have good times out in the woods. So that being said, everybody be safe. Watch for snakes. It's springtime. There's a lot of stuff coming out now. And I want everybody to have a safe time out in the woods. So once again, this is Matt, the old Florida boy saying, I will see you on the trail.